Morning, folks. Let's see who can hear me. Morning. Morning. How are we doing today, Cassie? I'm doing fine. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Back in the empty classroom. Well, at least the good news is I can't actually see any of you guys fall asleep on me anymore, so that's a positive. <laughs> All right, well, it's 9.30. Welcome to Biomechanics, folks. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start off with the wonders of the syllabus, you know, if I pull it up first. So, oh yeah, this is definitely not the spring anymore, this is the fall. Boom, first mistake I've already made. Now, uh, hopefully you guys have already had anatomy and physiology, so a lot of this stuff should hopefully be review when we bring up the body's musculature. If it's not, I thoroughly suggest reviewing that material. And because we're going to be talking about how it all chains together. Now, it, this is going to be both a qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative meaning we're observing a variable and, sorry, I have to admit Sarah's phone, where we're observing it and kind of giving it a feeling, which I don't like. That's mushy stuff like psychology. Instead, we're going quantitative, so we're quantifying variables. And so we're going to give numbers to it, which is going to be probably the more daunting thing for a lot of you guys because it's physics. Now, we do have two texts for the book. It's okay to get earlier editions. That's why I even have them down as the previous editions because all they do is charge you more for pretty much the exact same book with maybe a slightly fresh coat of paint. So if you guys can get the third edition, go for it. If you can find a cheap fourth edition, go for it for sport mechanics for coaches. And then same thing with the basic biomechanics, seventh edition is fine. If you get eighth, congratulations, it's newer. The student learning outcomes, you are going to learn these things and I'm not going to insult your intelligence by reading them to you because let's face it, that's just brutal. Now what you guys really care about is going to be our wonderful evaluation methods. So AK, how do you get a good grade in this class? We're going to have three exams, okay? Each of these exams you're gonna take once as an individual and then you're gonna take once with your group. And we're gonna work on assembling those groups in a little bit. Now, what we're going to have you guys do is after you take that as the individual, then you guys are gonna all meet and only one of you is gonna take the exam. So give you a chance to go through material again, figure out what you maybe struggled with, what you really understood well, and hopefully, obviously not just be able to bump up your grade because if you guys, I don't think you ever have heard of demotivators, but there's one that's called uh, uh, group work, which is all, none of us are as dumb as all of us. I'm kidding. Hopefully, you know, you guys are going to get a better grade because of it. Now, each week, we're going to have the same type of situation with the quiz. We're going to take it as an individual. And you're going to take it as a group. You are going to have a group project, and this is why we're going to divide you guys up at the end of the day, when we're going to have you guys literally break down a movement to a very high degree. Now, I'm sure all of you guys have had those wonderful group experiences where really a bunch of people, well, hell, look at this wonderful pandemic. This pandemic is a great example of group work. If everybody did a great job of social distancing, the disease is done. It's over. We can go back to being normal. And as you can tell by my current classroom, a lot of people are slacking off and not doing a good job of adhering to what they should be doing. So the way I grade your group project is each of you are gonna be in charge of just one joint for your biomechanics project. So you're gonna break down the muscles used, the movements, all of that information, the forces, the velocities, the accelerations. Now, you want to have a slack or a slack off member of your group because it's equivalent of standing next to your ugly friend back when you guys could go out to the bar because it makes you look that much better, okay? So the goal is you're gonna be graded on your work, not on everyone else's. So keep that in mind, guys, because by the end of the semester, we're always gonna have at least a few people, and it's a small number, but obviously it's frustrating because I'm sure you guys have all been there before with group work, and I don't want any of you guys to deal with it. You guys are gonna have homework quizzes and lab reports. All the labs I've videoed and put online, you are going to be able to do some of these on your own. And if you guys are really interested, you can come in the lab. I didn't want to make any of you guys have to come in if you don't want to. So trying to make this as safe as possible. The first week, there are four separate math quizzes. It's just going to be kind of a quick refresher on algebra, which you guys maybe haven't seen before, 
and some uh, basic other co components. With those quizzes, you can literally take it as many times as you want to. And so it's only gonna take your highest grade. Now there are gonna be some extra credit. I already have one up there where you can break down the physics of essentially like action movies or otherwise. Personally, just because I just watched it with some friends, we do a workout movie night on Friday nights. If you guys are really bored, you can come join us. But I probably don't want you to join us because you're gonna figure out how much I swear when I'm not teaching. And um, if you guys, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Hardcore Henry, but it is insane and amazing. And so to break down some of the Fruit Loops uh, physics in certain action movies, Marvel movies are always good choices for things that are just obscene. And we're gonna break them down a little bit as a class and kind of talk through them anyways. So you gotta get a 90 or above to get an A. If you got an 89.9999, congratulations on your very high B plus. And then same thing with having a 79.99 ongoing, and we're not gonna dignify the, low, the letter grades below that. So if you guys have questions about your grades, go on Blackboard. If you don't do an assignment, it will not give you a grade. So you might see like, oh, I'm fine. I have this many points out of this many total points. And like, you're not fine. You missed 10 homework assignments, reached 10 points. So there's 100 extra points that you never even touched. So make sure you stay on top of things. Attendance, obviously we're doing all the stuff online. Every single lecture after we finish recording it, I'm gonna upload it onto YouTube. So you guys have got that. You can re-watch it as many times. You don't have to worry about Blackboard being Blackboard sometimes. If Blackboard is being Blackboard, and hopefully you guys can read between the lines with what I'm saying, email me. It's okay. We'll figure out a solution. Do yourself a favor. When you're taking those exams, maybe try to go to the library on campus. Make sure wherever you're doing it, you have got really good internet. And worst case scenario, you can take the exams on your phone. It's just going to be, it's going to be a real pain, okay? So yeah, don't worry about the cell phone policy because I can't tell if you're on your cell phone and half of you guys might even be talking to me or watching this right now from your cell phone. Wonderful, important dates. We start, we go, and your final is due on December 1 by 3 p.m. Okay, if you guys have any accommodations you need me to go ahead and take care of, let me know. Class tardiness policy doesn't exist anymore, so who cares? And don't cheat, please don't cheat. The key is with all of these exams, I've set up so you can do all these on your own. You can take them at your own leisure, but you know, I want you guys to do your best and that means your best. So study, get going. And to be honest, I wrote the exams hard enough that if you didn't study, you're probably gonna fail even with the help of Dr. Google. Uh, Non-discrimination, harassment, Title IX, prevention statement. Uh, don't be a jerk. And if someone's being a jerk, let other people know so that we can report them appropriately. So course outline, we're doing a lot of different stuff right now and hopefully it's gonna be fun. Hopefully you guys are gonna learn a lot. Biomechanics is the unholy union of movement and physics. And so most of you guys like movement, not a lot of you guys like physics. So I think it's awesome. And hopefully at some point you guys will too. And, that, and if you don't, that's okay. But hopefully at least by the end of this, you are starting to understand a little bit more of the really interesting underpinnings of what's occurring in sport, in life, in exercise, and so on. And can also help you make some better decisions whenever you're working out. So we have our wonderful tentative outline. This is how everything is slated right now in the wonders of Blackboard. So you can see when different homeworks are due. You can see when different quizzes are due. So you can always take them earlier, but you can't take them later, okay? You gotta make sure you're staying on top of these things. So how we're going to go on through, you're going to have to read, you're going to have to participate, and you got to make sure you take the stuff. I'm not going to insult you with reading all the stuff to you. We got labs, we got math tests, we got my office, we got my office phone number. Um, guys, when in doubt, shoot me an email. If we really, if you're really struggling, we can always talk on the phone. I don't mind giving you guys my personal cell phone, but uh, if I give you my personal cell phone number, and it's so we can talk. If you send me a message after nine o'clock at night or before eight o'clock in the morning, we are going to have issues, okay? I, I know I said it yesterday, so sorry, Zach, you gotta hear it again. I unfortunately did this and, uh, at a, with previous students and then I had um, one of the girls in my class sending me a text message at two o'clock in the morning, please come out to the bar. Now, she meant to text somebody who has obviously the first name of Mike, but a very different Mike. But needless to say, it doesn't look good when your wife is like, picks up your cell phone because it goes off next to her head and goes, why is, 
of Jessica texting you to come out to a bar at two o'clock in the morning. And uh, I'm not saying that's when the fight started, but it definitely made the evening a little less enjoyable seeing as how we were both trying to sleep already. So yeah, guys, it's okay. I'm here to help you guys learn. It was an honest mistake, but you know, uh, the YouTube channel is where you're going to find everything uploaded and you'll see that under the biomechanics tab. So that'll have the labs and then it'll have the lectures and it has previous lectures uh, from both the summer and the spring up there. So you can already kind of watch and go ahead with the information or obviously you can see what I'm going to have uploaded because you maybe missed it that day. So you've got a lot of different ways you can interact with it. I write a mediocre blog on occasion where I actually do talk about physics and stuff on occasion and a lot of other random stuff. And then here's the thing that I think is a lot of fun. A lot of you guys might not disagree. This is that extra credit I was telling you about that's up there right now. You can go ahead and break down the action scene from a comic book movie or otherwise, something where physics is obviously playing a, a part in what's going on and trying to figure out like, okay, what's going on with the amount of force that would have been produced? What's going on with the amount of acceleration, velocity, blah, blah, blah. Would a normal human being survive those types of changes? And also there's gonna be a wellness uh, survey that's up there if you guys fill that out uh, effectively every day, you're gonna get 20 points of extra credit at the end of the semester for doing it. So do yourself a favor, fill out that survey. Uh, you should be able to follow the link. If the link's given you guys trouble, let me know. When asked for a call sign, it's just a nickname. And just make sure you use the same nickname throughout the entire semester. That's all that is. So any questions with the syllabus, as I kind of ran through that relatively quick. And actually, let me pull up the chat. So if you are unable to you know, speak due to your connection, otherwise, you can always put something up in the chat. Um, so you guys can kind of let me know if you have any questions or comments, concerns. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Just talking to myself some more. Okay. So let's go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the wonderful Blackboard, the way that I've got it set up. Okay. So key is we're going to come on over course documents. Okay. Now, here's where you're going to find some of the older slides. Obviously, there's our wonderful syllabus. There's narrated versions of the slides. Here's your exam review. So when people are asked for the study guide, there they are for each of the exams already ready for you. All you got to do is open them up. Okay. We've got all of the current labs for the, uh, the spring 2020, which is going to be the same that we're using in the fall. Uh, we're going to make a couple modifications, but it's nothing too crazy to concern that. The equation slide is essentially the cheat sheet that I want you guys to use on every single exam because I could care less about your ability to memorize a formula. I care about your ability to apply that formula. That's the big key. And so then we've got project scoring guides, so how you're going to be able to know what you're doing. There's an example of one of those group projects and then a bunch of other random stuff on here that I think is useful. The thinking in units, for those of you guys who are not familiar with physics, or haven't had to take it before, I would really suggest downloading that and watching it. Um, like anything I do, it's decidedly mediocre, but it at least is gonna give you an idea of like what we're talking about when we're talking about different numbers. So here's the assignment tab. This is where you're gonna go ahead and obviously submit all the work that you need to do. There should be due dates set on everything. Now the homework quizzes, those you can take an unlimited number of times up until the due date. It will only take your highest grade. So you're gonna get 20 random questions out of a battery of effectively 80 that I wrote. And then from there, it's going to, you know, you're gonna get how many right out of 20, and it's gonna give you that as a 10 point grade. There is no reason you should have less than a 90% average on your homework quizzes. If you are struggling with a class, we get later on the semester, you're concerned about, am I gonna pass? Am I gonna get the grade that I want? and I go and I look at your grades and your homework quizzes are averaging a six or a seven, that shows me you're not putting in the effort, okay? It's okay to struggle on the quizzes, the actual chapter quizzes. It's okay to struggle on the exams. If you're struggling in the homework quizzes, that simply shows that you guys didn't either give yourself enough time to put in the effort or you just didn't put in the effort. And either way, that's obviously not gonna be a good thing for how you're gonna do in this class. Now, from there, we're gonna see I've got take-home study guides. If you want another way to approach information, those are some thinking unit quizzes and other homework information. The King of the Hill is going to be a open-ended uh, quiz that literally is made up of every single homework uh, question and then some of the quiz questions and exam questions are gonna see over the entire semester. 
whoever has the highest grade on that at the end of the semester, it's worth extra credit points. Each question you get right is worth one tenth of an extra credit point. So you're not exactly swimming in it, but whoever gets the highest grade on it at the end of the semester gets immediate extra 50 points on their final grade. So it's worth doing because it, A, it's gonna help you study, especially when it comes time to the final. And then B, it's an easy way to give a little bit more padding to your grade either way, because it's just another way to interact with some extra credit. So let's go ahead and look at the math test. This is what you guys need to make sure you're doing this week. There's four of them. Do your best. You've got to get a high enough grade on them sometimes for the next one to unlock, but make sure you're staying on top of it. Make sure that you are taking those as we go through. So the other thing is literally every single quiz, assignment, exam, you could literally take it today if you wanted to. You could be done with this class at the end of the week. I would really suggest not doing that because it's not that easy. But that means you guys have no excuse to get this work done sooner rather than later. Now, at the same time, you're not going to be able to go back and do things after the due date. So everything's up right now. There's no reason that this work can't be done. And like I said, with those homework quizzes, guys, you could just brute force them and be done with all of them before the end of August. However, you gotta make sure you're paying attention to those due dates because it's not gonna let you take them after the due date is finished. So any questions here as to kind of how the whole Blackboard thing goes together? Did you say the math test or the math quizzes, you could do those as many times as yeah, you want? The math quizzes are only gonna take your highest grade, exactly. So, but they're only going to be open by for the end of the week. So, yeah, you can take them as many times as you want, Zach. It's only going to take your highest grade. But like I said, guys, you got to make sure you take that before we get to be too long. So, now, before I start lecturing, we talked about those group projects where you guys are going to break down a movement. So, the knee sweep is a form of a takedown in wrestling that effectively one group did a couple, uh, gosh, I guess it was a little over a year and a half ago now, and they did a really good job. Now, we've had groups do things like the bench press, uh, a pull-up, uh, pitching a baseball, swinging a bat, swinging a golf club. There's a, you know, any movement you guys can think of from a sport, that's something that we can go and have you guys do. So right now, if you guys don't mind, put in the chat any movements that you are interested in doing now it's this is not you're stuck with it the key is let's kind of get a list i'll put them up on the wall though i don't know how well you guys can see that and from there we're going to go ahead and effectively figure out what's going to be the movement of choice that i think we're going to go with okay Good. Okay. Sounds good. A burpee is an option. Okay. Whew. All right.
All right. So we got a pretty decent number. Guys, is this backwards for you? So this is forwards. You, you guys can you guys can read it left to right. It's showing me as backwards. So right now it looks like I'm right handed, which I'm definitely not on here. Okay, so we're going to effectively try and do voting on this. It's probably going to be I'm trying not to swear, but it's going to be special. We'll leave it at that. So can you guys get to the controls where it's yes, no, go slower, go faster, all of those options? Okay, so your vote is not what you're stuck with, but I want you to pick the movement that effectively you're the most interested in first, and then we'll go the move and then we'll get everybody's first vote okay after that whichever movements have gotten no votes or the lowest number we're going to get rid of them and the goal is to get you guys effectively into groups of at least four people but preferably not bigger than groups of six people okay so i mean there's certain movements obviously they're they're not perfectly similar but they have a lot of similarities like the snatch and the clean, the squat and the deadlift, like we might just end up rolling those together, but let's kind of see how the voting goes. So you guys, I want you to do the yes, so the thumbs up if you want to be in the kicking a soccer ball group. Okay, so good, that's one, two, three. Okay, cool, thank you guys. So, now, go ahead and go yes if you want to go ahead and do the shooting a basketball. Wow. Even the person that came up with the shooting the basketball doesn't want to do a shooting the basketball. Fair enough. That makes life easy. Okay, go ahead and uh, go ahead and say yes if you want to go ahead and do the squat. Good. So we've got two for the squat. All right, go ahead if you want to do the deadlift. All right. Got a grand total of one, so I don't think the deadlift is long for this world. Okay, so now, oh, Jared, I'm sorry, which one did you say yes to? Can you type that in the chat? Deadlift. Okay, so that's, that should be two for the deadlift. Thank you, bud. All right, so let's go ahead and how many of you guys want to do swinging a bat? All right. Got two, it's a very popular group number here. Uh, throwing a punch. Come on guys, I'm sure through this pandemic, there's a couple of you guys that want to throw a punch. Huh. Fair enough guys, fair enough. Nobody's really into violence, good for you guys. All right, snatch. Good. I've got a thumbs up, which I'm going to assume is a yes. Um, any other yeses? Okay. Uh, the clean. Got one.
Okay, I got two. The burpee. Not a lot of people want to do burpees. We've got one. That's fair. Zach already voted once, and I see him trying to. Voter fraud is a real problem, Zach. Okay, it's a real problem. I'm kidding. Okay, so we're coming down to the end here. Uh, pitch, and I'm uh, pitching a baseball is what we're talking about here. Pitching a baseball. Nobody wants to pitch a baseball? Okay. Serving a volleyball. Serving a volleyball. We've got one. Two, okay. All right. Huh, this is weird, okay. And then how many do we have that want to go ahead and do? Yeah, Cassie, I don't think your vote showed up. So let me go ahead and add that in there. Um, how many people want to do a football tackle? And you guys can just do the open uh, chat. And there's no worries. You don't have to send it specifically just to me. How many of you guys want to do a football tackle? Nobody. Okay, guys. So Herein lies the problem with democracy whenever you don't force everyone to vote. Currently, up on the wall here, we've got a grand total of 13, 14, 16 votes. There is 21 of you in here. Five of you did not vote. So five of you, I guess, want to have your movement be nothing and get a zero on the project. I don't think that's the truth. I think what's going on is you're not able to access your controls. And so you weren't able to vote. And I guess from there, you're not able to go ahead and put in the chat what you want to do. So here's how we're gonna roll this, okay? In the chat, and you guys make sure whenever you say in the chat that this goes to everyone, okay? For those of you that are able to, I want you to go ahead and put we're gonna do this in an orderly fashion because if everybody does it once, it'll be a dog pile and really hard to see. If you guys pick the soccer ball, okay, I want you to write kicking the soccer ball and then write down your email and everyone's gonna be able to see your name up there, okay? From there, you guys are going to go ahead, the ones that know you wanna be in the soccer ball group, if you're not able to be in the chat or anything else, you won't even see it, so who knows? But I'm gonna say out loud who those people are, and you guys are going to be able to kind of get into a group email and send me who that group is. Does that make sense? And then we're gonna do the same thing, no offense, squat and deadlift group, we're gonna combine you guys, and you guys are gonna decide amongst your group whether you're gonna stick with the uh, squat or the deadlift, and then you can always pick a variation. You could do something like a trap bar deadlift with just kind of a decent in-between between a squat and a deadlift, kind of, kind of going about that direction. And then snatch and clean, we'll have you guys combine and you the same type of situation. So right now, if you want to do the kicking a soccer ball, put your email up in the chat to everyone. Oh, perfect. So Catherine, William, and a couple of you guys have done that. Uh, Jared and Luke, just chill out for a second. Let's let the soccer ball group make sure that they can find each other first. Okay, so copy and paste that guys. Jared, make sure you put your email up there also. 
So that way you guys can have a way to kind of communicate with one another. I keep trying to hit tab and it keeps hitting send. That's okay. That's okay. So you guys can be able to find that. Okay. So I'm going to kind of read this off. So if you're just listening and you're not able to, for this, if you're interested in the soccer ball group right now, we've got Braden Jackson, uh, Braden underscore Jackson 68 at my mail, the normal Catherine Horn, um, Catherine underscore Horn 35 at my mail, Catherine with a C. And we've got, yeah. So those are our two for sure. And then if you're also interested, like I said, you need to all do a group message. We'll do that soon. Who else actually voted for kicking the soccer ball? Start to the moon. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, John. You do whatever you're in the mood for. Okay, so now for the deadlift squad group. So far, we have got William Brown, William underscore Brown 59. We have got uh, Jared Sizemore, which I'll figure out his email in a few. We've got Luke Madden, which is lmmadden17 at Gmail. Then we've got Corey Swanner, Corey underscore Swanner at my mail. And yeah, Jared underscore Sizemore 73. Rollin Wolf. So it's Rollin underscore Wolf 10 at my mail. And we have Sarah, Sarah's phone, which I don't think is her last name. So Sarah underscore Brennan 1 at my mail. And then for one more in the squat and deadlift group, we've got Zach. Uh, Maston, so Zachary, uh, uh, CH for the Zachary underscore Maston at mymail.ekdu.edu. So go ahead and guys try to copy and paste each other's emails, those of you that can from the system you're using, and at least write that down so you can look it up. We also have uh, Dominique Early, which is Dominique underscore, oh sorry, Ely, E A L Y 2 at mymail. And Caitlin Russell decides to come in from the cold and tell us that she wants to be in the soccer ball group of Caitlin underscore Russell 49 at my mail. Okay, so that should be good in that we've got these groups put together. So now if you're interested in doing the snatch or clean, name, email, go from there. Cool. So we've got uh, Cassandra Ryan, so Cassandra underscore Ryan 17 at my mail, and then I guess she's just all by herself. I believe in you. Well, ah, there we go. And we've got uh, Juliana underscore Blasey at my mail as another person in the Snatch and Clean group. So it's okay guys, if you're not able to get all the stuff in the chat. In fact, I think uh, Juliana might be having issues with her connection today because I know she's kind of jumped in and out more than once on us. So the joys of using internet, that's why I'm here and not doing this from home uh, because we use Metronet and it is not good. Okay. All right. If you guys still want to do the snatch and clean jerk, go and put that up there. But otherwise, anybody that wants to do the burpee, go ahead and put your name, email up in the chat. No one wants to do burpees, which I can respect. No, it's okay, guys. We'll, we'll figure this out. You do have to make sure you get yourself in a group. That's on you. So whether you're listening to this live or you're listening to this recording, you've got to find a way into these groups. I've listed off these names. You got to contact one another. And then what I'm going to have you guys do is at the end of the week, one person from the group is going to email me, everybody in your group with all of their emails CC'd on it. So that way you can see like, okay, I've, I know who's in each group. And you guys all have at least the emails of each other. You guys are adults. I'm sure you guys would prefer to text each other than email each other anyway. So make sure you guys exchange numbers, all that jazz. So last one up is the volleyball serve. Volleyball serve. Who wants to do that one? Uh, okay, cool. So a couple things here. Gabe, we skipped the swing of that group because... 
I forgot, that's on me. So we'll come back to that. Thank you. But right now for the serving a volleyball, we have got Haley Turner, H-A-L-L-I-E uh, underscore Turner 28. We've got Alexis Wilmoth, four. We've got John underscore Nelson, 42. We've got Zaria underscore Gill, one. I probably am just destroying that pronunciation, I'm sorry. And then we've got Joyce underscore Yang, uh, five at my mail, okay? Good, and yes, sorry, thank you for keeping me honest here, uh, Gabe. Last but not least, the swinging a bat. Swinging a bat. Okay, so we've got Gabriel underscore Crockett three and Raquan underscore Horton 12. So you guys all got a way to get in contact with each other to figure out your basic groups and be able to make things going. And we also have Cameron uh, Butlin. So Cameron underscore Butlin at my mail as a third member for you guys. And if you guys haven't had a chance to put your vote up yet, go ahead and do that. Like I said, this is recorded. You'll be able to get in contact with, to, with each other and make sure that you guys are able to get things going. So awesome. Um, with that being said, I really don't like standing in a room talking to myself for long periods of time because I feel like that's the beginning of, um, you know, starting to kind of lose the, the plot a little bit. So we're going to go through, I've got my wonderful roll sheet here uh, with your happy little headshots. And whenever I call your name, okay, if you can, I want you to go ahead and I want you to unmute yourself, okay? You can also turn on your video if you want and just be, I just want you to tell us the name you'd prefer to go by or the correct pronunciation for your name because I'm quite possibly going to mess it up. And then just go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy, kind of hometown, you know, what's your major, like what's your, and the reason you're taking this class is so you can pass it and never have to take it again, which I can respect. But you know, kind of, I'm doing this because I want to go and be uh, physical therapist, I want to be a personal trainer, I want to be an athletic trainer, etc. That's, that's what we're looking for. And then one interesting fact. Now, just so we're clear, with the interesting fact, there will be quality control. So it has to be interesting. If your fact is, I'm from this town in Kentucky, that's really not that interesting. I'm from the moon, I'm fascinated. Like that's, that sounds interesting. But I want you guys to think about, okay, what's something that actually is an interesting fact i have siblings like cool like i i absorbed my twin short uh shortly after birth that's fascinating but otherwise like i said just try to make it interesting there has to be something interesting about you and there might be a number of things that are interesting about you but you don't want to share it in a public forum and that's okay but instead just kind of hey just something about yourself um there's a lot of interesting things that i I do that aren't necessarily nefarious, but uh, let's just say I'm a strange uh, bird. So I guess a random interesting fact about myself is um, at one point, I was uh, one of the best deadlifters uh, in the US pound for pound, especially my weight class. I've gone over three and a half times body weight in competition. And because I know one of the gentlemen on the, uh, on the call right now is one of our football players. I'm confident that I can literally out deadlift any guy on the football team, including the lineman. But I obviously am not gonna be able to play football better than any of them because I am slow. Never been that fast of a runner. So that's, I guess, kind of interesting, not really. I am looking for a new training partner. Uh, survival is not guaranteed. Protein powder is. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, doesn't matter how strong you are, doesn't matter how big or small you are, all that matters is that you have the interest to, you know, get after it a little intensely. Um, if you're interested, just uh, you can put a private thing in the chat or just shoot me an email. Um, always looking for people to train with. Zach Mastin, he's trained with me a couple times. He's a good guy, he just has a really busy schedule, so he can't afford to be in pain that many days of the week. So uh, with that being said, we're going alphabetically. So the first person up is Juliana uh, Blasey. 
So go ahead whenever you're ready. Let's make sure Juliana's here. I think she got dropped out earlier. <laughs> she got dropped out again. Okay, cool. Uh, I love the internet sometimes. All right, Sarah Brennan. Um, hi, I'm Sarah. Hi. Uh, I'm from Northern Kentucky. Um, I am taking this class because I want to be an athletic trainer, preferably for soccer 